Hey, how you doing? This is Tom. This is Tom's Radio Room Show. And this is not about radios today. This is just me rambling about my bad day I'm having. Okay, where, we, where do we start? Okay, in, earlier this morning, I was going to have a hangout on the air with Scott, who's very familiar with old radios. Um, he's done two or three shows with me recently about an old radio that Jeff loaned me. And so <clears throat> we had been talking this week or emailing back and forth this week about doing this because I had a new radio, new old radio from Jeff that uh, I didn't know anything about. And he has restored a lot of radios like this, so he knows a lot about them. Anyway, so he said, OK. So this morning, early this morning, I was going to set up a hangout on the air on YouTube. Well, I went to YouTube to set it up, and I couldn't find hangout on the air. Then I remembered a couple of months ago, they said hangouts on the air are going away this year. Well, guess what? They went away August 1st, so they're gone. No more Hangouts on the air. I guess it was just using too much of their resources to do the Hangouts live on the air. And so it's gone. And so now you have a choice whether you can do a live broadcast. And uh, the one of the beauties of the Hangout on the air, you could easily invite somebody to be on the show with you. Um, I did a live broadcast by myself one time a couple of years ago using OBS software. And it was a struggle. It worked, but it was a struggle. So I really didn't want to go down that path again. So I watched some videos about what could I use now that Hangout on the Air is gone from YouTube. And there was a couple of suggestions of other means of doing similar stuff. In the one video I watched, he had five alternates, and none of them were easy. So I said, the heck with that. So I sent an email back to Scott, and I says, how about if you do a local video yourself using... The video that I uploaded for you about the radio, showing you the radio and what it looks like. And um, he says, well, I don't really like doing the videos by myself. I'd rather interact with you. So here are the things that I would say about this radio based on that video you made. So he sent me an email with all kinds of things. And I've got, got the email right here of about this radio and what it is. So then I was going to do myself a show on this radio. And I, again, this I'm just babbling. So if you don't want to be interested in me babbling, then you stop this video. So anyway, I set up my Logitech webcam like I usually use to go do a local video like I'm doing now. Well, the audio was screwed up. Now, a couple weeks ago, I got a major Windows update, Windows 10 update, and it screwed up my desktop. The colors are all messed up and everything. Well, apparently it messed up my audio too, because the audio that I was using before, which is an external microphone from my webcam, was working fine before. Now, what it was doing was, if I can zoom this up a little bit right here, this is one of my speakers. And you can tell that there's activity on the speakers because it's got water jets in there, and when the audio is playing, it shoots up. Well, it was doing that when I was trying to do a recording this morning. And because of that, there was sound coming out of the speaker. I got an echo effect. Well, to shorten the story about that, um, 
I tried all kinds of things. And one of the things that was confusing everything is I got another computer my upgraded by a friend of mine. And in doing so, I had to disturb all the cables behind these two computers. So I thought, well, maybe I got the cables mixed up. Well, that wasn't it. But anyway, moving on. So I finally, just trial and error, got it working pretty good. I did a video about an hour ago, and I noticed there's still some distortion. But I don't see the speaker active right now. So hopefully this is okay. So then... <laughs> it's it's just chaos. So then I uploaded that video to YouTube. And it took a long time. It took about a half an hour because it was about a 15 minute video. Way too long. Way too long. And I was just rambling and rambling about all my problems. Um, I went to go back to edit that video as far as putting a title and stuff like that on it. And I couldn't find it. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm on a different YouTube page now that I'm normally on. I have two. One that's I just use for experiments, and the other one is this one. And I'm like, I uploaded it to the wrong channel. And how did I do that? Oh, I know how. Because when I was trying to install a replacement for Hangout on hang on, Hangouts on the Air, um, you had, it said, I put in my other email account, which is connected to that other YouTube account, and so it went to that account, and then I started to go through that procedure, and it says, oh, okay, you got to enable uh, streaming. I'm like, I've done streaming in the past, maybe only once or twice, but I've done streaming in the past. So I thought, well, what the heck? Well, not realizing that I was on the wrong channel. So I start going through the exercise of allowing, activating live streaming on YouTube. And it goes through and asks me a couple of questions, and then it wants me to give it a phone number so that it can call me to verify that I'm me. And I'm like, I've been on YouTube for five years or more, and almost 2,000 videos. Why is it asking me this? So I'm like, eh, forget it. I'll, I'll get back to that later. Forget it. Well, when I went to edit the video I had just done, that's when I realized I was on the wrong account. And so I had uploaded the video to the wrong account. So I was like, okay, I'll just do it again. So I go back to my Logitech software, and I've got a whole bunch of videos, very short videos, like five seconds or ten seconds, where I've been, where I was trying to get the audio to work. So I start deleting those just to get cleaned up. I deleted the video that I did this morning that was almost 15 minutes. Oh my gosh. So I tried a program that I've used in the past called Recuva. I think that's how you pronounce it. To recover deleted files. And it's always worked for me. Well, guess what? It didn't work. So here I am doing the whole thing over again. And I, I'm hoping the audio is not too bad. It was a little scratchy in that 15-minute video. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is <laughs> hopefully the next video I'll be reviewing this radio that Jeff loaned to me using the notes from Scott, because I can see I don't know much about these radios, and you'll see what I mean. Hopefully all that will work out. I, again, I apologize for rambling, but I just I wanted to tell you how frustrating things can get. The fact that um, Windows 10 did an update and screwed up my desktop screen and I think it's what screwed up my audio. Maybe not. Maybe. I also, in that interim, I knocked over my microphone stand. 
So a microphone went crashing to the floor. That could be contributed to it. I don't know. I don't know. So hopefully this video or this show will come out correctly. If it does, then I'll review this. Otherwise, I'll have to take this down to my workshop, turn the air conditioning on because it's so hot down there, and do it down there with that setup. See you. See you in the next show, hopefully. Bye-bye.